Hi, my name is Bianca if you are new here and if you're not, thank you so much for watching. So today I wanted to film this really fun look. It's inspired by Maddie from Euphoria. I also was inspired by Kathleen Lights. She did kind of a similar look with um, jewels, but I decided to do like pearl jewels instead. And I really love how it came out. I think it looks super cute with like a denim top. And yeah, if you are interested in how to achieve this look, then please keep watching. Okay, so jumping right into this tutorial, I'm taking the MAC Cosmetics Eyeliner in the shade Coffee, and I'm going to start creating a wing with this. Now, because I have hooded eyes, I'm going to start um, winging it out, but then I also go into my crease a little bit too, so that when my eyes are open, you can still see the shadow. And then of course I'm doing it to the other side and you're just going to want to fill in the pencil as you saw in the previous clips. I'm also going to be tight lining with this pencil since I'm already here. Okay, next jumping into eyeshadow, I'm grabbing the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill collaboration. This is the white palette, um, basically like the only one that really did create. So I'm taking the teal color in that palette, the shimmery one and also the matte one, and I'm just placing that all over my lid on top of the black. And then I'm going in with a light brown shade and kind of buffing where that black is just to um, buff it out and make sure there's no harsh lines. Once I'm satisfied with that pigment, I'm taking a makeup wipe remover and I'm going to create a sharper wing. So just going from the bottom lash line and going up towards my brow bone. And then buffing again with the light brown shade to make sure there's no harsh lines. And then I am going to be tight lining my lower lash line as well. Next, jumping in to the jewels, I'm taking these pearl jewels that I purchased from Michaels and I'm going to start placing the duo glue down on where I want to place the jewel. So I place it on my lash line and then I grab tweezers and then I place the pearl jewel down. So this process is very repetitive. I just place the duo lash glue and then the jewels like I said. Now you'll see as this video goes on, I actually went back and added them more jewels to, so that there was no space in between them. So I would recommend starting off that way because it's kind of hard to work backwards. You'll see as the video goes on, but I would just recommend starting if you want them all to be like a liner to start um, placing them all together to begin with.
then next adding some lashes closest to my lash line this actually was probably the easiest it's ever been to add lashes because there was so much lash glue already close to my lash line so that made it really easy I'll have the lashes listed below moving on to face I am using the Maybelline matte and poreless foundation in the shade 250 and buffing that over with a wet and wild brush and then further blending with my morphe sponge For concealer, nothing new here. I'm using the e.l.f. Camo Cosmetics Concealer in the shade Medium Sand, placing that underneath my eyes to highlight a little bit and using my Morphe sponge. And then I do add some Catrice Prime and Fine Setting Spray along with that to kind of further blend and buff it out. To set underneath my eyes and my entire face, I'm using the Pretty Vulgar Translucent Powder and using a Kat Von D brush. And then to bronze, I'm using the Butter Bronzer from Physicians Formula and I'm placing that on my cheekbones and my forehead and underneath my jaw. And I'm also taking the Sugar Bronzer in the shade Woody and I'm going to contour my nose with this shade. I really love this bronzer. Next, taking the Master Chrome Highlight from Maybelline in the shade 250 and placing that on the tops of my cheekbones and my nose. Butter! Blush, I'm taking the Hourglass Cosmetics Blush in Luminous Flush and placing that all over my cheeks. Here I took this light blue shade from the James Charles and Morphe collaboration and I just added it to my lid. I just wanted the lid to be a little bit more vibrant. So just place that right above where the jewels were. Next I'm taking the Wet n Wild pencil and I'm just filling in my brows. I'm using the Essence Princess Lash Mascara, the green tube, and I'm just placing it on the base of my lashes. And then for lips, ooh, I don't know what pencil this is. I'll go ahead and list it below. I think it's an Essence um, lip pencil. And I line my lips. I kind of overline them a little bit. And then I just fill them in with some gloss. And this is the clear gloss from Wet n Wild. Okay, this is the final result. I absolutely love how it came out. It did take some time. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Today was rough. Like it was, it was hard. It's just, you have to have a lot of patience and just be so precise. And if you mess up, it just gets frustrating and irritating. But I pushed through <laughs> and it's kind of like once you do one eye, it's like, okay, I'm not going to stop now. I'm going to finish the other one. Anyways, so I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. Please give me a like and subscribe if you did. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!